I'm your secret friend. What does a liar do when he's dead? Any of this mean anything to you? I've been trying to reach you. Riddler's asking for you. Normally, Batman seems to hold all the strings. The plan is entirely his, but in this, Batman's quite often on the back foot. He's still trying to figure out exactly what Batman is. The city streets are crowded for the holiday. Even with the rain, hidden in the chaos is the element, waiting to strike like snakes. A bastard murders you and your reputation. Maybe he's not who you thought. You make it sound like he had it coming. Seeing the Batman was probably one of those transcendent moments in his life. Without the Batman, he would never have the Riddler. I hope you're listening. Gotham needs you. The hell are you supposed to be? The Riddler lends itself to allowing us to go back to the origins of the Batman, which is DC. It's Detective Comics. I wanted to see a Batman that was challenged by these crimes, who was a little bit in a free fall. The Riddler is more similar to him than Bruce would like to really admit. It's extremely troubling. The only difference in a lot of ways is that the Riddler follows through and his justice is fatal. I felt that this idea of putting on masks and hiding your identity for people, that the power would come from that. I'm just an instrument here to unmask the truth. Unmask. You're part of this too. The Riddler seems to know secrets about Batman and Bruce that even Bruce didn't know. So it's a very reactive version of Batman that I don't think we usually get. 